Good morning, my community, my family. Ooh, indeed, it is cold, guys. Uh, 36 degrees right now. We're probably going to drop down to 35 here right before the sun fully hits up in the sky. Um, there's very little humidity or else we would have had a frost last night. Now, I know east of here, uh, some areas are 28 degrees. 28 degrees on October the 19th pretty early for us and then this 35 degrees that we're fixing to hit is indeed pretty early for us um, but it feels good it feels really good now we're gonna get up to only 68 today no wind and then guess what we jump right up almost 20 degrees hotter tomorrow in the 80s by Sunday 88 degrees so we're going to uh, heat back up last night was um, our only threat of a frost or a freeze and it looks like we skirted it um, east of here and north of here you did not um, but uh, in the next week it looks like we're going to be in the 70s which is more seasonable and I sure hope we stick to that moving out so you saw from the beginning of my video I did close up the high tunnels last night because we weren't really sure um, where we were going to go with the cold temps but uh, everything looks to be just fine as I suspected. And most of our plants are uh, fall and winter plants and should, should have been okay should we have gotten a frost with exception of the sweet potatoes and the peas that we have outside. Um, I can't think of anything else that might have been in jeopardy. I can tell you that my lettuces are sure loving these cooler temps. Wait, this is shivering cold, my friends. That sunrise is bright and that sky is as clear as it can possibly be this morning. I'm perfectly fine with this, guys. The heat started in April of this year and uh, it stayed until here in the last couple of days. So the heat and the, and the high temperatures have been excessive and uh, boy, we have really been looking forward to some cooler temps. This is the last of our okra pickings, guys, I believe. Let me show you what's going on with them. We still have peppers coming in, guys, and we will until the first freeze. And our okra, so you can see that I have some very large pods I'm saving those for seed, guys, and what you're gonna wanna do is let them uh, dry up on the plant, and that's the only reason why these plants are still in here, is uh, we want to harvest this seed. And so we were really hoping to keep them warm above freezing last night, because we didn't want these plants to die. I expect to see a lot of those very large pods go to seed in the next week. And you saw some of my winter squashes coming in back there. Um, so I'll be picking those pretty soon. I'm excited to have those. This is the first year I've really ever grown those. I did grow some butternut squash one time and I uh, did pretty well with it. I wish we could have gotten some started this year, but we just had a very difficult time with the heat getting any of those cool weather plants uh, to start and quit getting inhibited by this powdery mildew. And now guys, we have, uh, some of those uh, potato beetles, I think is what they are, hitting these pretty hard and uh, Greg's been treating them. We're not really sure how much longer these vines are gonna stay in because uh, I don't know. I don't know if they would survive um, a frost or a freeze, guys. There's, I guess we'll find out because we'll probably leave them up until that happens. But we did have a couple of pumpkins back there. I'm excited about that. Not as many as we would have liked to have had. Um, this year in this big high tunnel, this was kind of a test for us to see what would go, what wouldn't go. Um, some lessons that we've learned is we won't grow or try to grow like pumpkins or watermelons or even corn in here. Again, we want to save our space for our uh, winter weather uh, crops. And uh, another lesson that we learned is uh, not to try to keep the tomato plants alive uh, when we're in extreme drought like we were and uh, go ahead and start more seed uh, probably sometime in June or July and then plant those plants 
um, to try to finish out the year and get another harvest of tomatoes. Now, last year, we did get tomatoes all the way um, up to December, and we were very uh, blessed to have those, we, but we did not this year. But I have started some black creme tomatoes because I'm gonna try to keep those warm and alive with Greg's tunnel in a tunnel, in the little high tunnel, <laughs> with heat um, over the winter so that we'll get an early harvest of tomatoes, probably sometime in March. So my cabbages in here are looking really great. I'm happy with them. I think that they're very healthy. Um, I did do some diatomaceous earth on them to try to protect them. And then I have some of the bok choy and some lettuces down there and then my turnips. And my turnips are finally starting to respond with the cooler nights that we have had. Not necessarily cooler temps during the day because even though it's only been in the 80s, it gets quite warm in this high tunnel. So uh, my turnips are starting to come up. So our average first freeze here in North Texas is around the second or third week of November. We have had freezes before then, guys, but they're saying that's the average. You know, I, I, I really don't know. I think it's changing every year. Um, I do know that last year we were quite warm um, all the way to the end of October. So I'm glad to see that we're getting a little bit more season, uh, season appropriate temperatures here. Girls are doing fine. We have several sources of heat in here. Ooh. I gotta get in here and feed them and get them some clean water. But yeah, they seem to be doing really well. They are starting to eat more and more each day. And we are keeping them as warm as we can. Again, we got three sources of heat in there and uh, we're fixing to warm up again. We don't see any temperatures getting like this for the at least the next two weeks that could change but right now we're not seeing any kind of 30 degree temps or even 40 degree temps for quite a while now for the most part they've been staying inside their coop <clears throat> but we do open up this right here during the day in the last couple of days they started venturing out into their pen where they can run around and get a little bit of sunshine. And you see up there that when it's really hot, Greg will open that up. So we have a good airflow in there for them, but right now they're cold. So just since I started this video, it's jumped up to 41 degrees as that sun rises, guys. So everything is starting to, to warm up. Again, we're gonna be at about 68 today and then jump up to around 86. Tomorrow, 89 by Sunday. No like, no like at all. So please go down and give me a comment and let me know what your temperatures are this morning if you hit below freezing or at freezing or if you did get a frost. I'm interested to know what's going on around us and what's going on all around the country. Um, I do think that, uh, I do believe, I know that somebody had commented and said that uh, Ponder, Pal Ponder had said that he believed that the La Nina was going to continue into the spring. I don't. I believe it's going to um and probably sometime in December, and I sure hope it is. So <clears throat> anyway, take care. God bless, guys. Love you all. We'll be in touch. See you soon.